Hi everyone, happy June. I can't believe it's June already. Welcome to Yoga with Sarah. Thanks for joining me. I miss seeing you all in person. I hope that you're all doing well, but I'm glad that you're able to join me virtually. We're gonna get started in a seated position. You don't need anything with you, just yourself. All right. Find a comfortable seat, maybe cross legs, maybe sitting up on your knees, in between your knees, whatever's most comfortable for you. We are going to be doing some twisting, so just make sure that your legs are in a comfortable position that it's safe for you to do a little twisting. We'll get started with our palms facing up, resting on our knees. We'll sit up nice and tall and just close our eyes for a minute to settle in to the practice. Notice your inhales and your exhales. When you're ready, bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. We're gonna breathe in and out for a count of four. So this is a way to help us regulate our breath. Our breath is something that we can control. So we're gonna breathe in for four through our nose. Hold for four. Breathe out through our mouth for four. And then we'll stay empty, no breath. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Slowly breathe out. Four, three, two, one. Stay empty. Breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Two. Breathe out, four, three, two, one. Stay empty. Last time, breathe in, one, two, three, four. Breathe out, oh, hold. Now breathe out, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bring your hands down by your hips and then reach them out and up, lengthening your spine as you do. Palms touch overhead, maybe gaze up at the palms. Hands to your heart and down by your side. Same thing, reach them out and up. Palms touch, hands to your heart. This time you reach your arms out and up, pause, Cactus them out, open up the palms, opening up across the chest. Bring your hands forward and up. Twice more like that, open up across the chest. Bring them down, forward and up. Last time, cactus, maybe pause here for a minute. And then bring them back down, forward and up. Bring your left hand down by, uh, or your right hand down by your right hand. Reach your left arm up and over. Make sure you're pressing down into that left hip so you get a good side body stretch. And then windmill your arms to the other side. Left hand down, right arm up. One more windmill. Right hand down, left hand up. Left hand down, right hand up. Nice job. Come back to center. Lift your shoulders, roll them back. Lift your shoulders, roll them back. Lift your shoulders, roll them back. Good job. All right, you're gonna bring your hands forward. I'm gonna show you to the side. Bring your hands up 
And then you'll bring your left arm back, right arm forward, and then switch. So, back, right arm forward, up. Here's our twisting. Both hands up, two hands up. Left hand back, right arm forward. All the way up, and right arm back. Left hand forward. Nice job. All right, this time you're gonna bring your palms down to the mat and come into tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Pressing down into your shins, into the tops of your feet, and your palms evenly. Drop your belly, arch your spine, lift your head, lift your tailbone, Big cow. Drop your head, arch your spine the opposite way, tuck your tailbone, for cow. Cow, and back. Make sure you're pressing down into the floor. All right, come back to tabletop position. Lift your right leg behind you, and your toes down. Slowly rock back and forth to open up the back of the leg. Just a little bit. And then lift that right leg back up. Maybe try to balance. Left arm forward, right leg back. And then bring all your knees and your hands back, down. And rest in child's pose. Bring your hips towards your heels and allow your forehead to rest on the mat or on your hands. Take one more breath here and then come back up to tabletop position. Switch legs this time. Left leg back. Drop the toes to the floor and then slowly Rock forward and back, forward and back, opening up the back of the legs. Lift that leg back up, maybe go for the balance. Right arm forward, left leg back. Nice job. Bring all your hands and your knees back down and rest in child's pose. You're gonna sit up on your knees now. We're gonna do that same twisting motion. So bring. You're gonna bring your right arm back, keep your left arm forward. Both hands forward. Left hand back, right arm forward. Both hands forward. Once more on each side. Right arm back, left arm forward. And switch. Left arm back, right arm forward. Both hands up, and then again, plant your palms. If you want to just come right to standing, you can just stand on your toes and stand up. If you would like to do downward dog with us, you're going to tuck your toes, lift your hips, push down into your feet and your hands. Downward facing dog. Maybe you pedal out one foot, and then the other. Put a big bend in your knees and then straighten. And then slowly tiptoe your feet up to meet your hands. And then roll all the way up. All right. Hips. Feet are hips width distance. Pressing down firmly into the ground. Palms face forward. Reach your arms out and up, hands to your heart. Nice job. You are going to spread your feet out about where your hands are. Your feet should be about, I have really long arms, so mine are a little bit shorter than that. About three feet, about the length of one of your legs. All right, we're gonna take our left foot first. We're gonna lift our left foot and point the toes forward. Our back leg 
leg is also going to come a little bit forward, not too much. You're gonna check your feet. They should be either heel to heel or heel to back march, whatever's most comfortable for your body. We're going into warrior number two. You're gonna bend into that front knee and this time your chest stays open. Right, this isn't warrior one, warrior two. Nice job, bend into that front knee. Press down into that back leg just as much. Arms come out by your sides, strong and straight. Keep the bend in your left knee. Reach your arms up to touch overhead. Stretch them out, Move that two more times. Reach them up overhead, keep the bend in the front knee, keep pressing down into the back foot. Last time, reach them up, and then open up. Nice job. Flip your front palm, and reach your arm up and back for Peaceful Warrior. You should feel a nice stretch in your side. Now, bring that forearm to your bent leg if you need to stretch it out before you do side angle pose that is fine but remember forearm to thigh pressing down into it and then reach your right arm up side angle today we're going to add on to this we're going to reach our right arm up and over over our right ear Maybe you gaze up at the palm. You should feel a nice stretch in your side. If this is too much, you leave the arm up. And then come all the way up, straighten your legs. Bring all 10 toes to face front. Reach your arms out to the side, put a bend in your knees, and slowly fold forward. Wide leg forward fold. Make sure you keep the bend in your knees so you're not locking out your knees. Let your body feel heavy. And then slowly roll back up. Nice job. Opposite side. You're gonna take your right leg and turn your right toes to face the back of the mat. Your left toes can point a little bit forward or they can stay more neutral. Whatever feels best for your body. You just want to make sure that they're not facing up. That would be quite There you go. Nice job. So chest stays open. Bend into your right knee. Press down firmly through your left back foot. And then open your arms up to the side. Warrior number two. Make sure that your knee is tracking over your ankle, right? You don't want it to go too far, right over the ankle. All right, same as the other side. You're gonna reach your arms up, palms touch overhead, but maintain those warrior two legs. Open up the arms, breathe in, reach up, breathe out and open, last time. Breathe in, reach up, and breathe out, open. Flip your front palm and reach up and back for Peaceful Warrior. You should feel a nice stretch here. Maybe you straighten the leg for a minute to give it a break. And then re-bend, forearm comes to thigh, and left arm reaches Side angle pose. You want to imagine that your spine is one long line, so not bending too much in either direction. Good. And then make sure you're not dumping right into your shoulder. You want to make sure you're pressing down through your forearm into your thigh. Nice job. Adding on, we're going to stretch the left arm up and over the left ear. You'll feel much more stretch here when you do that. If it's too intense, bring your hand back up, but give it a try. One more breath, and then come all the way up, straighten all your toes, and then you can hop 
start jumping to the center of the mat. Nice job. Okay. I'm gonna do one more thing. Come to stand at the back of your mat. You're gonna tap your right leg and take a giant step forward. We're gonna do warrior one this time. So warrior one, body is facing forward, toes are facing forward, your front toes. Back toes are at an angle. Good. Hips are imagining they're coming forward, but they don't ever quite get there, but that's the what, how you're imagining. And then your chest is facing forward. Bend into that front knee and reach your arms out and up. Maybe palms touch overhead. Bring your palms to your heart. Look forward, maybe lean a little bit forward, and then bring your back leg up to meet the front. Landing in chair pose. Stand up. And then just turn around, left leg this time. Take a giant step forward. Now you're facing the back of the mat. Seal that back heel down, or you can leave it up, your choice. Hips are imagining they're facing towards the back of the mat. Chest is facing the back of the mat. And then arms come forward and up. Warrior number one. Palms touch overhead, and then bring your hands to your heart. Same thing as the other side. You're gonna look forward, maybe lean a little bit forward, and then see if you can land in chair pose. From here, you're gonna reach your arms up, sit a little bit lower, sit a little bit lower, sit all the way down. Nice job. You're gonna lie down and hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock a little bit side to side, massaging out the low back. Maybe you grab each of your knees for a wider rock and roll. All right, hug your right leg into your chest and extend your left leg just for a little stretch. Maybe move that hip around and then switch. Left leg hugs into your chest, right leg reaches forward. Give that left hip a little circling. And then both knees, hug them into your chest and drop them over to the right side of your body for our last twist of the class. Let your arms come out by your side and just feel the heaviness of your body against the ground. Slowly bring your knees back to center. Give yourself a hug, reset, and then allow them to fall over to the left side. Arms can come out by your sides. Just breathe into any spaces that might feel tight. And then come back up to center. One final hug. And then extend your legs long. Extend your arms long down by your sides. Take a deep breath in. Fill all the way up. Two, three, four. Hold it. And then this time open your mouth. Big sigh out. Release. Allow your body to just rest. Shavasana.
begin to deepen your breath when you feel ready. Maybe you stay a little bit longer. And wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you step one foot onto the mat and then the other. And you hug your knees into your chest and then let everything fall over to one side. And rest. Use your hands to carefully bring yourself back up to that comfortable seat from the beginning. Let your palms rest facing up on your knees, spine is nice and long. Take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. Open your mouth, side out. Two more. Take a deep breath in. Side out. Last one, take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. Open your mouth, side out. Reach your arms out and up. Palms touch, palms come down to your heart and pause. Sealing in your practice with a thought of something that you feel great. I'm grateful for all of you joining me each week for our virtual yoga classes. And I know that even though we can't be there in person together, we are together in spirit. Bring your palms together at your heart and we bow and we say namaste. Nice job, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're all well and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.